Hey, I'm Seth with Land a House. You're watching the Micro Hydro series. In this video, I'm going to be creating this housing for the Micro Hydro turbine. It's going to have a, a lid here that opens up and a uh, drain field that goes out back to the creek. So uh, stay tuned. The housing for the turbine is going to be two foot by two foot and one foot tall. I have several scraps of this three quarter inch plywood. It's outdoor grade. So I'm gonna cut this piece here at two foot as two of the sides. And then we can use this other one down here as the other two sides. Cut that real quick. I have several scrap two by fours that I'm also gonna be using for this build. Should save a bit of money by doing it this way. So I'm gonna just take this two by four up under here and I'm going to screw it down using some of these two inch screws. Now when I flip this up, I can use one of the other two foot pieces to come over here and use that block that was just installed as the other support piece over here. And now I'm just going to go along here and do this on the other sides. So I can flip this around here and I can add this other two foot section on this side over here and then I'll wrap up the other piece on this back side. Now that I have the two foot by two foot box made I'm going to cut strips out of this last piece and my box is just a touch off so let's see what I need. Let's go ahead and cut 25 and a half inches here. I'm going to cut two of those because we have something special planned for the middle of the box. I'm taking those two pieces here and just screwing them down on the corners. I have the turbine sitting here in our housing and I've placed a couple of two by fours down here. I have then marked them where I want them to go and it may be a little bit difficult to see but the housing of the turbine is just barely resting on these two by fours and my threaded uh, coupling here is touching the edge of the box. So I will be coming over here and drilling a hole for that connection. And then we have to put some more 2x4s in here that will go just about a quarter inch under this turbine. So let's go ahead and remove the turbine and get those screwed down. Okay, the turbine will now sit right here on the edge of these 2x4s. In order to get the water out of here and hopefully prevent bugs and other unwanted things from making homes in here, I believe what I'm gonna do is cut this uh, bucket lid here to fit down in this little spot. And then I'm gonna stick a unisil there on that. And then I'll have a three inch pipe coming out, going uh, downhill so I can keep this water from uh, pooling up under the turbine. So let's go ahead and cut this lid down to fit into this box and then drill a hole in here. I realized that I was getting tired and not filming very much on this box build here. So let me just uh, say I'm starting over with a new day. So we've got enough space in here that the turbine will rest on the edges just enough. Should give a lot of space for the water to fall down and not have too much splash back. I cut this lid off of a bucket. And that's going to go right down here. I'm probably going to um, glue and caulk this down. And then I've got this large three inch unisil here. And that will go right here, which will then allow a small piece of PVC to fit down in there and be the exit pipe for uh, the water. So this unisil will be right here on this lip and it should not have much uh, there for the water to pool up. Uh, so for now, I need to fill in this gap and this gap uh, up to a point in here, probably just somewhere in here, 
Uh, so let's get a tape measure and measure that and get this ripped down. So we need uh, nine and a half inches on that side and come over here. So I think 10 inches will do us on this side. So hopefully these fit in here nicely. Yeah, not too bad. So I'll have the one there and then the one here. Not 100% bug proof, but should be good enough to keep this thing uh, good. I'll probably just put a bead of caulk around everything just to keep it from having uh, too many bugs in there. Okay, now that those pieces are in, it's time to get this piece of uh, bucket lid installed. So I'm going to be using some just little one and a quarter screws and then several of these little washers. And then I've got this uh, high quality caulking here. So let's go ahead and just make sure that's clean enough and put some of this down. Have a nice watertight seal there. And then I want to make sure that I get that down nice and flat. Then I'm going to use several of these screws with washers to hold it into place. Now that I have these eight screws in here, I'm gonna go ahead and finish caulking around this hole to make sure it doesn't have any leaks. Okay, and if a leak were to form, it's just gonna have a, a spot where not all the water goes back to the creek. But um, we can fix that later if we need to. Now, I'm just gonna go along the border of all of this to make sure that it has a nice watertight seal. And then this will be complete down here, except for putting the hole right here in the middle. So we'll do that in just a moment. Now that I have the inside piece caulked all together, I'm gonna to be putting this rubber grommet in. This is called a Unisil. Now Unisil actually sent several of these for this micro hydro project. What this does is allows you to put it into a surface like this and then press a pipe down onto it and it will make a watertight seal and have a very low profile. Uh, but it, the main reason you would use one of these is if you don't have access to the inside of a tank. Um, but in my case, it's gonna be perfect for that low profile look here. So let's go ahead and use a hole saw that is going to allow me to fit this unisil here into the bottom of my uh, micro hydro box. I just wanna find a spot where I know that it'll have plenty of clearance here. I think I'm going to drill from the other side so that I can push down better and not be against those screws. Now that I've got the unisil in here, I need to cut my pipe down a little bit. So it needs to just be barely sticking up above the unisil and then come down enough that I can put my T in here. So let's just go with somewhere around, looks like about three inches here. The larger unisil are more difficult to work with, so I'm going to taper this pipe down some just using a file. Okay, I've tapered this down. I've got a lubricant on the unisil and on this PVC pipe. Hopefully, I'll just be able to press this in without too much trouble. Let's see what we get here. May have to get a better position on this thing. This should be a better angle for my push here. Let's see what we get. Oh yeah, much better. So I'm gonna push that so it's just flush with the unisil. Very good, that should do it. So now, as the water comes out of the turbine, it should just go straight down this hole and be back down towards the creek. Now for the roof, I'm gonna be using this piece of metal and what I'm thinking, I'm just going to use some of this one by four here 
to support underneath this. Uh, so I do want to keep it as bug free as possible. So here's what I'm thinking. After we make the little frame under here to keep the support up, uh, I will just make uh, pieces under here that kind of fit the box. And then on this back side, I'll have hinges so I can lift the whole thing up. Anyway, it'll make sense here in just a moment. The two sides are four foot. So I'm gonna cut two pieces of this at four foot. I know the shadows are pretty harsh for you, but I'm just sticking this four foot board on the side over here and using that as support for the edge. And then I'm just simply putting some of these roofing screws in here. Doesn't matter if this portion is really waterproof or not, it's just support. Okay, whenever I don't have it on my porch here, I'll screw those in better. Let's go ahead and get the others. Now I know this is gonna be 39 inches across this way. That's what the support looks like there. I'm gonna go ahead and get these screws pushed in all the way. Now that I have the frame done for the top here, I'm gonna be mounting this two by four up here with more screws down from the top. And then I'll be able to use these hinges here to uh, allow this whole thing to swivel up. So let's go ahead and get these hinges on. Okay, I believe for now that's going to be sufficient. I just added the one block back here for the hinge. I think it's going to do just fine. I probably come back later and do a little bit of bug proofing along the edges. Uh, but I just want to get this installed and we can make modifications later. Uh, but let's just see how well this thing works. So let's put a board under here. So yeah, you can just pick up on this front side here and it will rest back like that. I may put a little kickstand in there just to make sure it doesn't fall on me, but I think that's gonna work so well to keep the rain out of this thing. It's got plenty of uh, area on the sides, as you can see, to keep that from getting any rain in there. The next step is to take this over to where the micro hydro turbine is going to be installed and uh, we'll leave it there for now and we'll come back in the next video and get the turbine installed into that. I think it's going to be really nice to see this thing spin up. I've just got the housing here on top of my double wheeled wheelbarrow. Need to uh, head down by the car, down the road there and right there is where we're going. It took quite the effort, but I got this box down here. And what I've done to set it up, you can see the lid comes up nicely here and rests up like that. Uh, I've got three different concrete blocks here underneath the box, which I think will be just fine so for support. And the reason I went up like that is so I can use this uh, 90 here to come out of it and that will drain the water away from our box using uh, maybe 20 foot or so of PVC. It'll just take it off over the hill over there towards the creek. Uh, then I had to bring up this piece here just a touch. Uh, I need to come up another probably three or four inches to make sure that this is in the right place for the turbine. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and drill the hole to get this through here. And I'm gonna want this to be in here just enough there and hopefully that will give us enough room for the turbine which I've got here uh, on this piece. The next video in the series is going to be the actual turbine install but for now I just want to get this into position so I can see where I need to have my hole cut into. So it looks like I may just score it over here and find the middle point. And that way I can use the hole saw to uh, cut this hole right here. I think I'll start the hole on this side and probably have to go from both sides to get this to 
go through correctly. Okay, like I said, this isn't the official install video for this. I'm gonna get this plopped right here where it's gonna be. Okay, and then uh, over here I've got this union ah, so that I can uh, put this through here and install it like that. Uh, so it looks like we're good. Uh, that hole's plenty big enough to get that installed right where it needs to be. Nice. Okay. Well, I think that's pretty good on that. So now we have to go up under here and install this 90 for the, uh, the drainage. Okay, I know you can't see a thing up under here. It's one of those YouTube fail moments. But I'll bring you a little closer once I get this installed here. So just getting this PVC cement on the pipe and on the, uh, the 90 here. I just want to put this under here, kind of an angle off towards the creek. Here we go. Okay, nice. Let me bring it a little closer so you can see what's going on. So there's the 90 coming out from the bottom. And you can see it's coming down from the unisil right there. So uh, this piece right here will then have probably about a 20 foot piece of pipe, which goes to about this tree here and that'll just go down to the creek. I may have another pipe after that just to keep it on in the right direction, but that's all the way downhill, so it should be good. Uh, but anyway, there we go. That's the completed install, or the completed box for the Micro Hydro. We'll see how well it works. I really hope that this plate here with all the caulking on it is going to drain that properly. Uh, so we'll see. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, I'll have to come back and stuff something in here and then possibly come back and put something on these to help get the uh, keep the bugs out. But as you can see, this will just fold down and any rain that gets on there will just flow right off. Should work out nicely. I like it. Thank you so much for watching the Micro Hydro series. It's free to you, so if you would, in return, hit the subscribe button and be sure to ring the notification bell, I would greatly appreciate that. Stay tuned for the next video where we install the turbine and see what kind of power we're getting out of this thing. Should be exciting. All right, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.